Welcome Taurus. This is Renee. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, if you are returning, thank you. I appreciate all of your support, all your likes and comments. Um, it's greatly appreciated. Keep them coming. I love you all so very much and I hope that you're having a wonderful new year. Okay, Taurus, uh, this will be your love reading, January 1st through the 15th. We're going to take a look at your current energies, Taurus, and um, we're also going to see what's coming in for you. Um, we're also going to see how open you are to receiving any love that's coming in for you. And then we're going to take a look at your challenge and get some advice. So we're going to do some oracle cards, and then we're going to get into the tarot. Okay, Taurus. What do we have for Taurus for January 1st through the 15th? In love. What do we have for Taurus? Okay, we have sacred plan. So you might be planning out your line of attack, Taurus. You could be taking a lot of time. I feel like you're planning for the future. You also have angelic protection. So whatever you're doing, you're being protected. You're being guided. And you also have manifestation. So definitely, whatever plans that you're making, Taurus, whatever plans that you're making, I feel like these are protected. These are guarded by angels. And your manifestations are going to unfold very quickly, maybe. But I feel like you are, you're up to something, Taurus. I'm not sure what it is yet, but we're getting in. We'll get into it. But I feel like you're up to something. You're making plans. But I really feel like, you know, um... I feel like you're planning for the future. If you're in a relationship, I feel like you are making those plans, what you're going to do together. You know, you may be planning for a marriage. You may be planning for, you know, certain events. If you're single, I feel like you're making your plan of attack. <laughs> what exactly is you're looking for? Um, and I feel like you're not letting down your standards at all i feel like you're you're being straightforward with the plans and intentions that you have i feel like you are kind of have those qualities and qualifications for love set in stone I feel like your standards are very high definitely and what did i just say i feel like your standards are very high and what has come out first the empress of course so yeah you're you're very and we have the judgments wow taurus you have a lot going on right now you have you you know this five of pentacles wanted to come out upside down we're going to keep it upside down And we have the Three of Cups. We have the High Priestess. Lots of Major Arcana already. Okay, I see you, Taurus. You have the Four of Wands. We have the Four of Pentacles. The Page of Swords. Wow, look at this. Four of Wands, Ten of Cups. Wow, the Empress, the Judgment. You are not playing games, Taurus. And you also have the Death Card. Wow. The energy you don't see on the bottom is the Ten of Wands. So you have tens here. Tens are completion definitely you may see be seeing a lot of ones right now you may be seeing a lot of you know 
like when you look at the clock and it's 11 11 or it's 10 10 I, I feel like those numbers really mean something for you right now it's very odd that I'm feeling like that but I, I do I feel like those numbers really mean something okay <clears throat> Taurus we have the ten of wands as your current energy so i you know what i feel like with this ten of wands this ten of wands is a little different from the other ones because you know on the other one he's carrying they're, they're busy carrying all those wands um but in this card they've let all the wands just fall just drop um he's laying down his burdens He's not focused on what the, the outcome may be. He's focused on exactly what's going on right now. He's not focused on, you know, what he needs to prioritize or what needs to, you know, happen through the month, just for an example. Um, he's focused on this moment right here. And I feel like that's what you're doing. You're kind of going day by day, but you're focused on that certain moment, that certain activity, that certain, you're putting all of your energy, all of your creativity into this one moment. And, you know, sometimes that can be a good thing. And it's definitely a good thing for you because look at these cards. Wow. I mean, your focus is incredible right now. Taurus and if you know if if you are single the opportunities that are going to be unfolding are just wow because with the Empress and the judgment right now you are very 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 attractive people are noticing you Taurus people are seeing you they're seeing your beauty they're seeing your sexy vibration they're they're seeing the positivity she's also a card of manifestation so we we did receive this card um at the bottom of the deck manifestation so yeah the empress can actually manifest anything her heart desires because she has that ability she has that positivity to manifest and be abundant she's also a good parent so you may be a single parent you may be you know a good parent um or you may be pregnant at the moment because the empress is also very fertile she's very you know she's ready to give birth to life to you know situation to creative ideas She's ready to give birth to, you know, whatever it is that she's manifesting. So it's beautiful, beautiful energy, Taurus. And with the Judgment card and the Empress, I feel like you are feeling renewed. This new year is bringing in some kind of new intentions, new kind of vibrations to where you're like, okay, we're done with 2022, we're going into 2023, we're setting our intentions, we're making our plans, you know, we're going into this new year very hopeful, very new, very, you know, going in with a very high vibration. You're not bringing any conflict with you. And I, that's how I'm feeling with this, with this Five of Pentacles. I feel like you're, you kind of left anything that was negative anything that you were not you were kind of dealing with in 2022 i feel like you left it back there i'm gonna leave that back there i'm gonna move on to this new destination this new year and i feel like it, it's making you feel like you know i'm i'm not gonna worry about the past i'm just gonna go with the future and I feel like that's bringing you into a lot of happiness. I feel like you're being around people. You're being around your people, Taurus. You may be hanging out with friends. You may be dealing with a lot of love, 
Um, you may be going on, on dates. But, you know, I, I don't see one particular love interest here. But I do see that you're socializing. That you're getting out there. You're having fun. You're happy. You know, um, if you are with somebody, there could be marriage in the future. There could be a lot of new um, adventure. But I, I feel like if you're single, I feel like you're just enjoying yourself. You are the spotlight um, at the moment. And I feel like you're really focused on Taurus. You're focusing on yourself. You are... You know, you're finding your wisdom. You're finding your place in life. I feel like you're learning to trust yourself, to trust your intuition, to trust, you know, how you feel about certain things. I feel like you're learning. And because you're learning... I feel a lot of hope, a lot of renewal. Now, like I said, if you are in a relationship, your person, um, this may be a, a situation that is going to lead to marriage. And this is going to be long term. This is something that's going to be stable and long term because, see, you, you're, you're looking for security. You're looking for that loyal person, that person who's going to provide you some long-term security. You're, once you find that person, if you already have them, that's great. But once you find that person, I feel like you're going to be holding on tight. Um, I feel like there's not a lot of people who are going to turn your head if you are with someone. Now, if you're single, Taurus, I feel like you're very curious. You're very curious about experimenting. I feel like you're dating more than one person. I feel like, you know, you're just ready to live life, ready to have fun, ready to explore. You're curious to find that one person that kind of fits your mold. So I, I really feel like you're, you're discovering new things about yourself. And I feel like you, you want to discover new things about whoever it is you're dating, whoever these people are, you know. And I feel like it's more than one. I feel like you're having fun right now, Taurus. I feel like you're, you're, you're not coming into this year with any drama. None. I don't see any drama at all. You are coming into this year with total new vibrations, total transformation of your situation, total happiness, total contentment. You're coming into this new year with a new vibration. And I feel like it shows in the people that you surround yourself with. And it you know because of that i feel like you have so many opportunities to meet new people to go on new dates to um and th those new dates could lead to the one you know it could lead to that one possible person where you just want to spend all of your time with but i feel like right now you're in the exploration phase you're just putting yourself out there you are exploring you are you're you're a beautiful soul right now and i feel like you're getting a lot of attention i feel like you are you know I'm, i feel like you know people are asking you out people are wanting to be around you taurus because you're <coughs> excuse me because of your high vibration, the way you carry yourself, you're happy, you're fun, you are 
the life of the party, you know? You bring that aura around you. You have that aura of happiness, contentment, positivity. Very beautiful energy, Taurus. And I feel like, you know what? Um, finding a challenge in this reading is kind of hard. Um, so I'm going to have to ask. Spirits. What is Taurus's challenge in love? What is Taurus's challenge in love? <clears throat> your challenge is love. Okay. This is your challenge. Your challenge is love. I feel like because you're focused on having fun, um, you... Your challenge is settling down, finding that one person. Yeah, the Ace of Swords. That is your challenge. Your challenge is love. Your challenge is, you know, finding that one person or wanting to deal with that one person. I feel like you're you're in this mood to have fun to explore to discover new things <clears throat> i feel like in doing that you're you're not really ready to settle down okay we're going to change this deck and we're going to look at some advice <clears throat> okay Spirit, what advice do we have for Taurus? What advice do we have for Taurus? January 1st through the 15th for love. What advice? The Two of Pentacles. Yeah, make wise choices. Make wise decisions. You're already planning, but, you know, the Six of Cups. Happy family. Happy reunion. This may be someone from the past coming in. Um, <clears throat> wanting to, with this page of swords right here, wanting to give some sort of communication with you, wanting to just talk to you. And the Nine of Cups. So, yeah, your advice is to definitely focus on Taurus. Focus on your contentment. Focus on your wishes coming true. You also have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. So, definitely, um, Taurus, you may have, like I said, there may be someone from the past coming through with, um, wanting to communicate with you so you may receive information or they may just text you and just want to you know like what's up you know what are you doing do you want to get together I feel like this person may see that as a way in that's their way in so, I mean, it's totally up to you if you kind of, the way you go with the situation, I'm not going to say whether it's good or it's bad because I don't see if it's good or it's bad. I do see that this person <clears throat> is kind of feeling like, hmm, like they see how you are right now and they feel like you're worth trying again. That's very, yeah, sorry. But yeah. So, beware, Taurus, of that situation. <clears throat> Good or bad, I don't know. But yeah, there's someone from the past coming in wanting to communicate with you. Okay, what do we have for Taurus? 
helpful people. So yeah, I definitely feel like there's people around you. Um, like I said, with the Three of Cups here and the Four of Wands, you also have the, the Ten of Cups. You know, I feel like there's a lot of people here. I feel like you're really socializing. And it may be that, you know, your people are keeping you uplifted. But there may be something that you need to compromise. It may be this person coming in from the past. Um, you may need to compromise some sort of situation. Or someone wants to compromise with that being on the Page of Swords. Someone wants to compromise with you. Someone wants, that's this communication is coming through. And the answer is no. So, in some certain, well, maybe with this compromise, maybe you have decided you are not going to compromise anything. You may be telling this person that's coming back from the past, you may be telling them no. You have no part in that. Hmm. Very interesting, Taurus. Okay. And that's the reason why you're saying no. That's the reason. Wow. That is the reason why you're saying no. Because you know there's something better. If you're dating, I feel like you've already met this something better. You don't want to go back to the past. So this person is trying to communicate with you. I believe that you're going to you're going to tell them no because I feel like you know there's something better for you. You want better for yourself. You don't want to get into this situation again. Okay, let's get some guidance from our angels. See what the angels have to say to Taurus. What do the angels put in angel advice for Taurus? Patience. Now is the time to learn, study, and gather information. Enjoy being a student because in the future, you will synthesize your knowledge into action. Yeah, so I, you know what I'm feeling with that, Taurus? I feel like you're in this discovery phase. You, like I said, you're exploring all of your options. You're dating. You're, you know, you are not settling down for one person at the moment. Um, I feel like you're just discovering new things. And I feel like this is your opportunity to discover. This is your opportunity to see new things. To see that there's something better. To, you know, when that person that you meet comes into your life, I feel like you're going to totally be ready for all your wishes, all your dreams to come true. You know, with this Nine of Cups and Four of Wands, I feel like all of your, all your wishes, all your dreams are going to come true. Now, not to say you may meet this person very soon. Um, I'm not seeing it in the cards, but I mean, it's possible. You also have Serena. I am the angel of abundance. You receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how it will happen by faith. So, yeah, you, that may be this helpful people here. Um, you may be receiving generous gifts at the moment. Something that you totally need. Something that's coming in for you because of all this positive energy that you're casting all this manifestation energy that you have, you know, I feel like whatever is coming in, it's going to come in with a little monetary gain as well. So, Taurus, that is what I have for you. I feel like you're 
new year is going with a lot of discovery, exploration. I feel like you're out there, you're having fun, you are being social. Um, I feel like it, it's all about Taurus right now. And I feel like your focus is exactly where it needs to be at the moment. Wonderful energy, Taurus. Very wonderful energy. Okay, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And Happy New Year, Taurus. Many blessings to you. Love and light.